you could say that that alpha fame is kind of like a mix of reward and loyalty system so um until now like basically everyone from the community who were um you know supporting us from from early on and and got trades even though they, they couldn't open them yet um yeah they could at least collect alpha fame which then is kind of like you know sign of appreciation that we really value are people um supporting us for such a long time and you know they're maybe excited for the game but you know had to wait for a long time so in return you kind of like collect this alpha fame and in the long run um we of course want to shift that a little bit from uh, holding trades to also you know getting rewards when you're playing and this kind of like summertide event is the first time we can you know test this reward loop a little bit more that's why we decided hey that would be a cool way to also uh, reward alpha fame but like what what is that all about um as long as you can't really spend it on anything right and <clears throat> i mean it's not the first time like we talk about it um but like it was very not so far it was not very specific um what that means or like what alpha fame can be used on what you can spend it on um the only thing we have basically you know shared so far is that it's um yeah about customizations so everything related to um yeah cosmetics and customizations in the game that you know doesn't have direct impact on the gameplay because you know we want to stick to our skill to win ethos obviously but um yeah just would be cool to be able to customize the experience a little bit and maybe also show off like you know a few rock collectibles that you may have and um yeah alpha fame is definitely one way of kind of like receiving this rara uh collectibles and cosmetics and like i said you know they are all nfts so uh, kind of like limited collectibles that are only limited to the face as long as we are in the alpha stage and after that there will be no way to obtain alpha fame anymore and you can also not trade it so it's rather that you collected it or you want it as a reward from playing now uh, because later you can't get it which then also means you can't get this rare nfts anymore and yeah sure you can then you know show them in the game to flex it with it a little bit or yeah just collect them uh, but you can also um sell it and trade them to other players that you know maybe don't have that much uh, alpha fame or they can't collect it anymore but they really really want this you know like early early on collectibles which these cosmetics definitely will be now going forward is there any kind of plans to do i don't know beta fame or just some other kind of reward or is that just a bit too far in the future to think about we already thought about it um i mean that's like far future spoiler then maybe it, it's we, we definitely talked about it in the team um and i kind of like could imagine that you know depending on the phase that we are in maybe the fame kind of changes so yeah like you said it could be something like a beta fame and then in the in the re-release there could still be fame um, but the concept would probably, you know, stay the same. And yeah, then maybe you have this few items that are very rare because you can only get them for alpha fame. And then there will be this um, other uh, cosmetical collectibles that, you know, maybe from the beta phase. So yeah. Um, and then, you know, later there will be something else, but then it will be always limited to the phase. And like, it would not be the same item you can purchase with alpha fame or beta fame. I'm I'm very much a fan of like especially when it comes to this like collectibles and like promo cards or promo collectibles that you know hey you know if somebody owns that you, you definitely know like you know it's from this one specific event so in this case it will be hey this is from the Alpha Fame I will not spoil everything but just um, to go a little bit ahead maybe you've seen it already in the announcement for the stream but. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one thing that that from the beginning people were very very fond of and happy with were our um, kind of like promo, uh, yeah, promo cards, and um, we have uh, three of them. They are, I mean, we are I think more like a, a serious 
um sci-fi game but like the, the promo cards have been more like on the on the on the cute side I, I mean because yeah yeah also the cards they're promotional and we already distributed them to to anybody who um yeah support the game before we made it public now and yeah we got a lot of positive uh feedback for those um so i think it's really cool that for example those will be one of the nfts you can buy uh right away and um yeah there will be other things like and of course it, it's like a growing process right um we, we don't throw everything at the very beginning that that you can redeem for alpha fame so it will be ongoing um that there's more and more that you can um receive or that you can redeem for alpha fame and um these kind of like little uh yeah we call them like bubble heads because like the head can move um it's for example uh, um one thing that can customize your game board so um i mean if you see have see, seen it right now in, in this version but also in our um unity client then um where they will be fully 3d uh, you kind of like already have this um placeholders at the corners right now for the summer tides event we have this pearls obviously really not talking timelines here but i mean you guys know this uh spoiler alert from it now it's kind of like a monthly event so maybe you can get a little bit of idea of uh yeah the timeline we are talking about just just as a little little sneak the the idea is that it's kind of like a, a means of recycled um high value materials so um i think that's also one of the use cases that cases that we we shared so far um for example if you have a lot of certain cards that you you don't want anymore um but the amounts are maybe too big for trading um you would be able to yeah recycle these cards and you would turn them into scrap and then yeah kind of like scrap is just you know like compromised um yeah like precious metals um that's why you can yeah kind of like see that they're like you know combined from from different metals into this kind of like currency and um there i mean that the different use cases right one is the recycling part so um that's also something being planned i think we shared already that you know people can recycle their cards and then they can use this in your currency to do uh different things and um yeah, one thing to to do with it is um, to spend it in our shop. So you can, you know, basically turn cards that you don't want into scrap and then again use scrap to buy new crates. And I'm not talking about the Alpha Fame shop. Alpha Fame shop, everything exclusive only for Alpha Fame. You can't get it with, with any other currency unless uh, you buy it from other players. Um, but yeah, for example, you, you can turn um the cars and scrap and then get new crates if if you want to and uh yeah there will be another use case we come to later and a few more um but just as an outlook so you have sarah ingham currency uh there will be different ways how to um get them and how to spend them and the closer we will get to releasing it we will also get more to the to the use cases and, and how it's um how it's being released um one catch up to your previous question um yeah this will be also a currency that is uh, part of the rewards um being distributed so um not saying the exact time but basically like i said the event also is for us a little bit of a stage where you know we just test certain mechanics um but going forward there then will be not only uh, alpha fame rewards but there will be also scrap rewards and then like i said there will be different use cases where you can spend them on what is definitely also to purchase everything in the shop so far we have planned to kind of like have i don't even know if we you know would call it like seasons but it kind of is um to have them pretty short to begin with just because we also do a lot of testing and um yeah we also want to you know encourage people to get into playing so they will be rather um short probably about two weeks uh similar to the event 
I mean, you can already notice it right now, right? Like l- last week was really crazy and like a frenzy of games that have been played. Uh, we even broke um, our record of like games played per day. And uh, now in the second week already, it's a little bit less. Um, so I think it, it makes it more fun to, you know, just reset the leaderboard more often and give, give people the opportunity again to yeah try to fight for the top. And then, you know, in the, in the longer term, of course, seasons will get longer, um, similar to how you know from other games, uh, monthly or quarterly. Not 100% decided, also depends on, on the feedback that we get and, yeah, how the testing goes. But in the beginning, like, very, very short intervals, um, lots of rewards and, um, yeah, every time the new chance to, to basically get, get to the top and, and earn more and then, you know, use the rewards to, to spend on, on different uh, things provide the information uh in more detail very soon i like i said here's just really for spoilers it's not like the full thing so stay tuned about that um one thing that i also already can give away uh, and i think that will make a lot of people very happy especially the ones that yeah really supported us for for quite some time already when we released scrap uh we thought it would be also fair to just um yeah do an airdrop to our Current community. So again, the way we distribute and how you can claim it and when and uh, how it works, we will share. But yeah, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to everybody who who who's sticking around for so long. And yeah, of course, we will also provide an airdrop of scrap to to everybody in our core community. Yeah, the last thing to to talk about a little bit is our uh, market and yeah so like we always planned um really really like the synergy of sarah market which is then integrated um in the platform in our website and as always on sarah we want to make sure that we have it you know as as easy to to use as possible so again meaning there's no need for any external tools or wallets and also for trading there's um yeah, no, like transaction fees, uh, anything in that direction. Of course, we will have um, trading fees. So if people are trading, there will be trading fee. And this, it goes a little bit into the economy part, which I said, like, we will also go deeper very soon. But um, what I can already leak is that part of the trading fees will be kind of like, um, yeah, return to the players, into the economy. So basically, um, Part of the fees will go back into the the price pool that also then is you know the part of the re- rewards that will be um, distributed over the seasons and yeah like I said we got to deep into that but that's how it all comes together that um you know why 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 trading um which um by the way is also done with the in-game currency scrap so that's kind of like how the how the scrap um cycles in this yeah synergy of server economy and uh people who regularly play they can yeah receive this rewards again and then use it um to spend in our shop to get more crates or also spend it uh, on the market to buy s- specific cards that you really need or to buy certain nfts or cos- cosmetics um that you really want to play with and uh yeah, like I said before, like even, you know, if you completely don't spend any money on the game, that's totally fine. Uh, you can get high in the leaderboards, you get rewards of um, Alpha Fame, Scrap, uh, other things in the future, which we have also planned. So also more about that later. And uh, yeah, as a player, you really have a way to to get um, the things that, that you want to wanna play with. Um, but yeah, the first kind of stream of the month is going to be me and Julian, and we are going to kind of do a spoiler like this. Might not be as many spoilers each month, but you never know. We'll have to see. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we will speak to you next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks to you, Craig, and thanks to the community. See you around. <laughs>